Hello, Nicole here with Blue Saturn Designs, and today I'm going over my September recap as well as getting my October budget set up. I am having a sale in my Etsy shop until October 15th, and you can get 15% off your entire order. So if you like any of these pages that you're going to see today, you can go over there and use the coupon code that I will put in the description box below. This first page is just a recap of how much did I spend, how much did I save, how much did I put towards debt. So I'm just going to fill in for September. For savings, we did save $300. We did not spend anything on gas, actually, this month. Food, we spent $692.04. Going down to savings here, I like to put my total. So we added $100 to Christmas, that's $900. We added $200 to our car sinking fund. So that'll be for a new car in the future or any maintenance that comes up in the next few years. Emergency fund stayed the same and medical stayed the same. We paid my loans down by $3,000, so that went down to $18,600. The mortgage went down to $90,046, so it's approximately $400. That's where the other $400 came from. This is a visual savings and debt tracker. So we added $100 to Christmas. We added $200 to our car sinking fund. And then loans, we paid off $3,000. So I will put that down to $18,000. So even though it's a little bit more than $18,000, I like to just put that whole number there as $18,000. The mortgage is still at 90000 so I won't color anything in for that one. And then down here I have my key. This was for September, and I used this light blue color. This is the Millionaire Retirement Tracker, and I'm actually at around 18000 right now, so I can't fill in the next spot, but hopefully soon. This is what the plan budget looks like. And it also comes with two transaction logs, which I will show you in more detail later. I'm going to take them out of the planner and then zoom in for you. First, I'm going to start with our income. And if you have multiple paychecks, you can use the different lines and then add them up here. This is not our true income. I do want to keep that private at the request of my husband. So what I did was leave stuff out of our fixed expenses. But I do use our true numbers in every other category. So starting off, I would put any fixed expenses that I have. And if you want to, you can put a date to the side here of when those get taken out of your bank account. But these should be anything that you know pretty much what the number is going to be. Maybe utilities, for example, would change a little bit each month. Just try to put the maximum that you think it'll be, and then you can use anything extra towards miscellaneous or paying off debt. Next, I will add these two together to get our total and subtract that from our previous total amount. So 5,600 minus 1,200. Transportation, we did not get gas last month, so both of our cars need gas, so I'm going to put $80 for that. And if I needed any maintenance, I might put that in this section too. I'm going to subtract that from the $4,000, and I will get $4,337.24. Medical, we don't need anything this month. So food, we do $150 per week, and we needed a little bit extra this week to make up for 
how much we spent last month. So I added $50 to this first week. So there are four more weeks in October. So that'd be $600 plus 50 is 650. Subtracting that from the previous total. At this point, I have about 3,600 left. So I wanna think about miscellaneous savings and debt. Every month we put away $100 for Christmas and $200 for our car sinking fund. With $3,600 left, subtracting 300, we would have about 3,300 left. For loans, I try to do around 3,000. And miscellaneous, I try to do around 600. Now this month is gonna be a little bit less. So I decided 2,900 might be good for loans and subtracting those numbers from 3600 we would be left with 487 24 so that is a little bit lower than what we would want for our miscellaneous budget but we really want to have this number around 3000 so i thought Let's just do 2,900 and let's try to be very good about a miscellaneous budget. Now, if you do your math right, this should end up with a zero-based budget. So going through quickly one more time, starting with your income, you can put your fixed expenses, then gas or maintenance to your car medical, food, and then for miscellaneous savings and debt, think about how much do you want to save for the month. Maybe you have a minimum miscellaneous budget and see whatever is left over for loans. And then you can make sure that when you subtract everything, you get a zero based budget. I actually use the Every Dollar app by Dave Ramsey. That way my husband and I can both put our transactions in there as we're out buying something. So we can always know how much we have left. But if you like to put it into a written form, this would be good for you. And what you'll do is put whatever you have budgeted and then subtract off the amount until you see how much is left over. So for instance, for income, on my budget there I had 5,617, 24. And most likely this number would actually go up, that you would have extra money left over, meaning that you did something extra. Maybe you got an extra job or did an extra shift at your work. Fixed expenses was 1,200. And I'm just looking at the total here. Transportation, I budgeted $80. And I'll give you an example of how I fill this out. So on October 1st, our Christmas budget gets taken out. The amount is $100 and I would subtract it from the budgeted amount. And then when the car comes out, I could put $200 and subtract it from there. And eventually I will have a leftover of zero. For values like transportation, for example, you might end up with a negative number and then next month you can decide, did I need more to start the month off with? Or maybe this was just a crazy month of driving everywhere and $80 really is a good number for you. Thanks for watching and I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments below how you're doing with your debt free journey. So we are almost there, 18,000. So I'm so excited to be almost done with my loans. Hopefully by March is my goal. So I'd love to know your goal and maybe what you're paying off. Is it loans or credit cards? And I'll see you on Sunday if you'd like to see my new weekly video. Bye.